We all know that project managers monitor and control project work rates, right? but really it sounds very much theoretical and not actually straightforward. So let me give you a picture of a day in the life of an IT project manager working from home. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and here we talk about managing projects, obviously career tech and professional development. I'm a PMP certified project manager and uh, over five years, I guess by now, I'm working remotely, so I definitely know what I'm talking about. And today, we're gonna see what actually do I do at work on a daily basis. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Make sure you're subscribed and your notifications are set. This is crucially important in order to get notified about every new video that I'm posting here on a weekly basis. And not only that, if you're looking for mentorship with me, make sure to check the links in the description to this video. Before I start to highlight it in advance, I would want to let you know that what you do at work is always the same and on the other hand, it is not the same. So let me give you an example. For instance, you will do absolutely different activities depends on the project stage. If this is the initiation or planning stage, it would be significantly different from the actions that you would need to take in the project closure phase, right? For example, in the initiation, we are gathering requirements, we are planning the project work, we are uh, getting the team together in order to start executing the project activities, while in the closer phase, we are verifying the results of the teamwork and making sure we have delivered what was expected. If we talk about the activities, keeping in mind that they are kind of the same, this means that on a daily basis there are gonna be some chore and some routine work that needs to be done. This could be daily meetings, uh, regular reports, demos, uh, team communication, stakeholders engagement, and so on. This might sound a little bit boring, but on the other hand, it gives a structure and stability for your work and for the work of your team. So the first thing in the schedule is coffee, coffee, and one more coffee. Just kidding. So I really make coffee in the morning, but simply because I like it and it helps me to tune into work. So the next thing I do is I'm checking emails, my chats and my schedule to determine what was actually planned for the day and if there is something urgent has already popped up. Because sometimes this is really happening. So in the morning someone can start bombarding the messages in the chat, in Slack or in emails, so time to take care of this. Next, well, do I really have meetings today? Usually I do, and um, most likely some of the meetings will even pop up during the day. So I need to make sure where are the slots that are available in my schedule and when can I put something else within. By the way, if this is Monday, usually this is one of the most overwhelming days in the week as you know. So during Mondays I plan not only things for Mondays but for the whole week in general simply because on Mondays usually something pops up that we need to schedule a couple of days ahead and I'm making sure that I have cashed up on everything that is crucially important during the day and that I'm catching up on everything that is going to come up during the week and that I blocked my calendar for those stuff. Number three that is happening once I'm starting the day as an IT project manager is daily meeting with the team or a scrum stand-up. There are a lot of names for this type of event, but the general idea is that you meet with the team on a daily basis and you're discussing what I'm going to do during the day, what are the current status of the active tasks, what is planned, and if there are any blockers. Along with that, we usually touch base on some specific scope of activities that are going to happen soon and we plan some demos if this is the case. By the way, I have touched base in detail about scrum meetings here, so make sure to check this episode. 
Number four in my list, which is really important, after the team daily, I usually do not schedule anything for the next 30 to 60 minutes. Simply because after the daily, most likely I will need to update some tasks or some documentation in order to keep team working. So something urgent may pop up that I have to do right away in order to not block the team. And moreover, if I postpone it for later, this could be simply forgotten. So that is why it is important to execute those activities right after the call that we have with the team. As we start on the tasks update, most likely I'm going to continue with Jira management. So this means that I'm going to update all the tasks that are currently in progress are going to be in progress soon, make sure they are in the appropriate status, make sure all the requirements are up to date and all the labels are set there. By the way, these days I'm working with Jira and I would say Jira is one of the most popular task tracking tools in tech. If you are interested in Jira management and to learn how to operate with Jira tasks, I'm going to put the link to the playlist in the description to this video. Again, the activities might differ depending on the project stage. So, for instance, if we are in the planning stage, in the beginning of the sprint, what I'm going to do, I'm going to double down on creating tasks, on adding descriptions there, on first setting up the task hierarchy, adding new features, adding new stories to them, adding subtasks, in order to make sure we are covering all the edge cases that might come up during the product exploitation. On the other hand, if we are somewhere in the middle of the cycle, what I'm gonna do, I will make sure all the descriptions are up to date, all the statuses are up to date, and that with the team is adhering the required speed, so the velocity of the team is appropriate in order to complete the, the sprint on time. If we are in the close stage this means that we need to verify that all the features were completing as uh, it was planned and all the features are complying with the requirements that we have. Are you enjoying the episodes? If so, it is time to give it a like and to support my channel and to motivate me creating more videos for you. And not only this, if you are going to give it a like, it will give YouTube a sign that this episode is worth watching and it will help to promote it to other viewers. So let's help others watch this episode and to get as much value out of it as you are getting it right now. Now, when we are done with all the chore and when we make sure that the team has everything they need in order to continue their project work, meetings are coming up. So this could be a sync with the designer in order to discuss the current design progress and the new requirements that came from the product owner. Or I could have a call with the product owner to communicate the project progress and to receive feedback or new requirements that should be taken to work. Or potentially this could be a meeting with the other project managers or someone from the internal team to discuss the improvements or suggestions to improve the current project delivery processes. By the way, if you want to understand what's the difference between the project manager and the product owner, make sure to check this episode and let me know in comments if you would want to learn what is the project management office. Next, more work with documentation. So, this could be either some reports uh, where I need to present the actual project progress and results or make a summary of the budget consumed or potentially this could be a report about the team performance. Next, it could be information about what was done during the last milestone or the last sprint and uh, presentation of the product functionality or something that I need to prepare to demo the project results. When reports are done, so what's coming next? Usually I'm gonna have more meetings, like meetings with 
the whole development team, client side including. So potentially that could be product meetings with the client team where we are discussing the new scope of work, the new requirements for the features that are coming up and setting up priorities. Finally, the day ends and if I do not have more meetings with the client or with somebody else, I can spend time with my family, get out for a walk, or create more content for you guys. Let me know if this type of work and this schedule looks exciting and attractive to you. And what else would you want to know about project management life? Thanks for watching till the end. See you! Cheers!